Hey, this is Spencer here from Team Linked, and today I'm going to be showing you the digital game sheets feature. Uh, so once the league or association schedule is added to Team Linked, uh, each game will have a unique ID that can be used for the digital game sheet. So from the scorekeeper's uh, smartphone, tablet, um, laptop, whatever device they choose, they'll simply enter in the game ID that they're provided, click submit, and that'll start the process of the pre-game setup. So at the top here, you will see all of the details for the game. Um, underneath is the official section, where if you have any officials, referees, linesmen, um, you can add them in here. And uh, underneath the official section are the two rosters for each team that'll be playing today. Um, you'll see all of their names, positions, jersey numbers, and whether they're playing or not with a checkbox. So if you need to change any of the information for any of the players, you can simply click Edit Player, click Save. Um, if you have any players that are not listed on the roster that will be playing today, you can click the Add button and add them in here. So this is perfect for someone like an affiliate player or a substitute. Um, if someone was to change their Team Linked apps roster, um, as you're doing the check-in, if you click this little arrow, it'll actually refresh the roster that's available in the app and refresh things to reflect what they have uh, done in the app. Underneath, you'll see the coach and staff, so you'll check them off just the same. And finally, at the bottom are the goalies for today. So if there's a couple different goalies, you can choose which one is starting. So once we're happy with the game setup, what we'll do is click Start Game, and that'll jump into the, uh, the game clock. So once we have our game set up, uh, what we'll see at the top left is the period that the game is in. So we can switch that to whatever we need. The score, which is automatically updated when goals are added. And the game clock. So um, this will also automatically update as goals and penalties are entered. But you can also manually update this clock at any point. Uh, underneath, if you need to change the goaltender, there's this little arrow here that you can swap between the two. And if you need to edit anything with your roster check-in, you can click here. Uh, to add a goal, it's very easy. You simply click Add. Um, you'll search for the player that scored the goal, uh, anyone that got assists. Uh, you'll pick the period, the time that the goal happened, and then we'll click Save. So that'll be logged in here. If you need to edit anything with it or remove it, you can simply click one of these buttons underneath. Um, you'll also see as I timestamp the goal, the time at the top also was automatically updated. Uh, to add a penalty, it's very similar as well. You'll click um, and search for the type, the infraction, how many minutes, uh, who got the penalty, so who was served by, and then you can simply also add in the, uh, the time of the penalty. So let's go 233, click save, and from there you'll see the clock actually auto-updated as well. So you'll just continue to update goals, penalties, and the clock as the game's going. Um, you can also add or remove shots for each um, goaltender as the game is going on by simply clicking on the plus button on the bottom. So what you're seeing on my smartphone Here is on the all the same functionality that we just showed on a laptop. So you can update the period, you can update the score clock, uh, underneath, you'll see the same sort of functionality for goals and penalties, where you're simply clicking to add in, uh, finding the player that either scored the goal or had the infraction. Also at the top, what you'll be able to see is toggling between the two teams is easy. You just simply tap on whichever team has the goal or the penalty. And at the bottom, uh, clicking to update shots is as uh, simple as clicking on the plus button. So once you're done updating all of the plays for the game, uh, what we'll do on the top right is just click End Game. Uh, what that'll do is it'll prompt uh, an official review. So if you want the referee to sign off on the game, they can simply um, skate over to the penalty box or wherever you're taking score, add any notes, um, add their signature, and click Save. So once you click Finalize for this game, uh, there's a few automations that will happen. Uh, number one, the score will be recorded for the game, uh, which will actually auto-populate and change the standings for your league. Um, and as well, any individual player statistics that were entered during this process will also be automatically updated in the Team Link system. Thanks for watching this quick demo on the digital game sheets feature.